Hello, today I'm going to be looking at a Nintendo catalog from 2007. So, to my knowledge, this was like given out at stores, maybe to the press. All I know is that it's just like a holiday gift guide, like the Sears kind, or I can't really think of any example of like one besides the Sears version. But Nintendo did this for a little bit. Um, from, I mean, they probably had some before then, but the oldest one I could find was from 2002, and it went, um, they kept making them as late as 2016. Um, those later ones definitely were, like, in, um, GameStops and stuff. But this one, it's, it's very clean, like, the design of it, I really enjoy, like, something about, like, I guess the blocking or whatever. Like, there's a lot of cool details, like how there's, like, 3D effects that make like little squares and stuff. And there's a lot of weird photos. You can kind of see the games they have on there Twilight Princess, Super Paper Mario, and like a third one. But yeah, I thought it'd be interesting to look at this because I'm guessing no one else has. I have other stuff I'd like to look at, like make little videos about, but this is the first one. This first page. I can't really, don't really know how good this is coming in because I have the camera at a very weird angle. Hopefully it's fine. But you have some DS kids playing at camp and a big Chrome DS page. So much Chrome, like Mario Kart DS. On the back. They have this like weird shape that is used there too. It's like a nice little <laughs> double thing. Nintendo DS Lite. Um, Nintendo DS is everywhere thanks to its crowd pleasing design. All right, let's see what Charlotte has to say. Um, they have these quotes. I don't know if they're real, but they have facts about the people. Um, oh, that's not Charlotte. That's Marsha. Um, she is. 41, and she lives in North Carolina. The DS is less about pushing buttons and more about do doing things that make sense in the game. Drawing, writing, and just having fun. Plus, I can play against my friends. Do my, my friend Donna through the Nintendo Wi-Fi connection while the kids are at school. That's good. I wonder what games she played on the Wi-Fi connection. Marty. Is she a Pokemon fan? Probably not. Her, kid, her kids play that. Her and Donna. Did Brain Age have online? <laughs> now we have the page about the Touch Generation series. Something interesting about this book is 2007 is a very transitional time for Nintendo. Or 2006 and 2007 because this was the time when they were shifting from being focusing a weirdly large amount on like hardcore gamers and focusing to that, like, blue ocean, like, the whole, the elderly and such. So, there's this weird disconnect where half of it is, like, old people, and the other half is, like, gamers. And by 2008, they definitely, um, sh shifted fully, but, like, this is this weird transition. We've got the Touch Generation series. There's a lot of them. And then, then the first one they released for the Wii, um, Brain Age Wii Degree. What game is that? I, I think those are just random games from the Touch Generation series. Oh, that's Magnetica. That. I have also, and maybe they're all playing that game. Now we have Brain Age. Um, Donald, the 66 year old um, Arizona, Arizonite, he likes Brain Age. Video, okay, let's see. Video games mystified me until I found out about Brain Age. Not only is it easy to operate, draw, write, speak, but I can really see how it could stimulate my thought process. You know, that's a pretty good take from Donald. I'm, I'll be honest, Donald, he has my respect. This nice insignia, is it insignia? Insignia for the Brain Age logo. Lots of chrome. And I kind of like it. It makes it feel so premium, despite just being like a gift guide. Big Brain Academy. Uh, my word coach. 
I guess they really like their simplified faces. My Sims. High school musical making the cut making the cut. These like first games are super or like the worst ones. Like they don't start the DS list with like Mario Kart, Mario New, New Super Mario Bros. Like they're in it with high school musical making the cut. Pretty pretty magical game right there. I think I might own it, but don't tell me. And now we have the first gamer. This is Paul. Um he's a Zelda fan. Um he loves Phantom Hourglass. It's 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 one of his favorites. Um, I've been playing The Legend of Zelda since I was a little kid. Phantom Hourglass is pretty cool since you have to use the stylus and to run and fight and stuff. It's one of the best Zeldas ever. I'm going to catch up with my friends on Nintendo Wi-Fi connection and school them in battle modes. Paul is going to absolutely wreck you if you try to beat him in online games. That's those are just facts. That haircut is, like, 2008. So 2008. Like, oh my god. Super Princess Peach. Yoshi's Island DS. These games, when they're presented like this, they look so cool. Like, you look at the screenshots and it's like, oh, okay, it's just a Yoshi game. But look at how fun that looks. Same with Super Princess Peach. It just seems like, I don't know, these two together are, like, two, like, pretty fun-loving adventure platformer games. And they have some smaller ones. Transformers. Those are two, like, simplistic adventure games or FPSs. Or, like, they're, like, open world, I think, maybe. One of the two DS titles based on the Summer Smash Transformers. All right. Final Fantasy and Ratatouille. That's a weirdly nice-looking picture. Um, I forget his name. Um, oh, what is his name? Skinner. It's a weird, <laughs> nice-looking picture of Skinner, like, for the DS resolution. We get a full image of two, three gamers. Mom, uh, not mom, sister, brother, and pa. Playing Nintendogs, Puzzle League, Brain Age. No, they're not playing Brain Age. Pokemon, Nintendogs, and Animal Crossing. Very neat. We've got Madden 08, starring Vince Young at his finest hour. And we have Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. Sure. Two pages for Pokemon, Diamond and Pearl. Me and... Okay, let me see if you can see this. Me and all my friends play Pokemon. It's cool how you can enter the global trade section and trade Pokemon. I want to be the first to catch all of them. Do you guys think Jeff, the 10-year-old, is going to be the first? Because I don't think he was. I'm going to be honest. I, th I think I think this kid definitely caught all the Pokemon way before Jeff ever even dreamed about it. But, okay. You can you can try, Jeff. Well, well I, I salute you. Got Animal Crossing Wild World. Um, DK Jungle Climber. I really don't like having to hold this up. It's very annoying. Ah, oh, but there's no better way, I guess. I, I'm in a weird, I'm in a weird spot where I'm like viewing it at an angle. Planet Puzzle League, Hitcross DS, Chibi Robo, Park Patrol. After an unplugged adventure indoors on the GameCube, little Chibi Robo is leaving his comfort zone by taking a trip to the park. His comfort, no. Oh. <laughs> Lots of exploration and clashes with polluted smoglings await. Luckily, Chibi can command bikes, boats, and buggies to cover ground in a hurry. I never got to try that one. Oh. I'd like to at one point. I really like the first game, but Artificial Scarcity by um, people in the retro gaming community have made this one a lot more expensive than it should be. We got the big boy, New Super Mario Bros. This is the second year it came out, I'm sure. Back in 06, it was headlining things, but here it's just kind of an side entourage. It's on the same side. It's like, it's equal to Kirby Squeak Squad. I suppose. Ooh, Nintendogs. Ann Arbor plays Nintendogs. No one else. 
My Nintendo dog is trained better than my real dog. He can't win. He can't win agility competitions like my little Coco. Plus, I don't have to worry about getting drool on my clothes. Gross. Yesterday, I was able to get the Dalmatian puppy from Hitomi. So cute. Having a little picnic, a little Nintendo dog sesh. That's fine. Nintendo dogs is kind of weird in how it was super popular, but like I never think about it, and I haven't really played it. And I barely hear anyone talk about it, even though it's sold so well. Like, it's not like a Wii Sports type of thing where it's still in the public conscious. It's kind of forgotten, weirdly. Like, how did Nintendogs get forgotten? Diddy Kong Racing DS and Mario Kart DS, two racing games. Um, I've heard bad things about Diddy Kong Racing DS. Maybe it's fine. Jam Sessions. It's a nice art for it. Mario Party DS. Okay. Nice also. Now we've got a bunch of images. This is probably the last DS page. Lots of chromos. <laughs> it's not just D. Reflection. There's like some weird reflection on there. This DS. Wait, that's a Game Boy. No, it's a DS. What is that? Oh, he's playing Chibi Robo Park Patrol, one of the many. Very weird year for Nintendo when it comes to games. Because on the DS, it was kind of like, they had a lot of weird small stuff. I can't really point to one big game they had. Game Boy Advance. Surprisingly, in 2006, or 2007, they were still supporting it, kind of. Um, it, 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 it works. They did. They, <laughs> They're having, they're doing their thing. And the only games they have are re-releases of Mario games. A bit of a shame they didn't go further and do like other games like, I don't know, they could have released Mother 3 in 2007, but you know, that doesn't matter. And now the Wii, it gets its own page all to itself. This nice blue. Okay, we've got Marcus. He's a gamer. He knows what's up. Man. With we, my actions translate to the character's moves. This thing is so innovative that it's why I like the Wii. It makes gaming realistic. Marcus, um, I feel like that statement has a few problems, but I drive with it. I drive with it, Marcus. We're friends. I wonder what game he's playing. Um, then we get the Wii, the system stuff, the Miis. I am so sorry if you can't see stuff. I'm <laughs> trying to to work around some Big Brain Academy. Um David is playing it. David's playing it with his folks. Um I feel like this is such a Wii image. Like this is what <laughs> Nintendo expects families to be doing with the Wii. Okay, I admit, my kids got me into Wii. It's actually fun, and many of the games are pretty simple to learn. The kids still beat me at the harder games, but like I say, practice makes perfect. All right, David. All right, Dave. That's fine. Uh, one of those games is Super Paper Mario. I'm guessing it's always the same three. I think that's Twilight Princess. I guess Big Bang Brain Academy Wii Degree was a big game for them. Uh, Madden 08, once again. Some sports garbage. DDR, hottest party. The party was pretty hot. But not as hot as the one in Boogie. Mario Galaxy. Um, Christy was playing it. That's good. Uh, Mario Galaxy, you'd, you'd think that'd be first. He used to hop on the back of Koopas. Now Mario hops planets, soaring from one floating sphere to the next in a journey that will redefine the platforming genre. Hmm. <laughs> I mean, it could have if more people took its influence, but the platform was dead by then. So Super Mario Galaxy is like crazy. I totally love this game, especially... All the super cool new worlds. 
even though it looks like total wackiness on the screen, I'm always in control. You know, that's good. I'm not always in control, but Christy, she's, she's got the control thing covered, which is good. Twilight Princess. Nice. <laughs> the most dramatic story in the biggest explorable world of any title in the Legend of Zelda series. Ah, oh, okay. Uh, my word coach. Battalion Wars 2. It's supposed to be spelled with two eyes, but I guess someone messed up or they just didn't care. I need to get a glass of water. My voice is still sore. And some Wii stuff. Wait, is that Wii Chess? I think that's Wii Chess. That game never released in America. Maybe it was going to at some point. 2008. When did Wii Sports Resort? I think, no, okay, no, that came out later. Pokemon Battle Revolution, i.e. Failure, Super Paper Mario. This is like their, <laughs> this is like their B-tier game section. Metroid Prime 3. Now we, see, I'm telling you, we've got the gamers. Johnny, the gamer, is playing Metroid Prime 3. I really got into first-person shooter games. I always thought the controls were f were tough. But now aiming and moving the camera with the Wii Remote is so easy. Metroid Prime 3 rocks. Johnny. I, li I like how they have different handwriting fonts. Like Johnny can like kind of convey the English language. Wow. If you go back. Okay. Like Christy has this like super nice handwriting that's super clean. Uh, where's, <laughs> where, where's David? I need to find David. To prove my point. David. Oh my god, where okay, Donald. Donald has this nice cursive. But where's David? David is who I'm looking for. Come on, Dave. David. Yes, David has this like like oh man, he is fly he's such a dad. That's the that's the dad font. Okay, I admit. Yeah. Johnny Hill, he's like, he's a Neanderthal. Well, what else can I say? Excite Trek. Harry Potter again. Good variety of games on this. We play with this really nice looking graphic and WarioWare Smooth Moves. If mini games are too much of a commitment for you, get a load of WarioWare's more than 200 micro games. This is one. This is probably the best game on the Wii <laughs> that uses the Wii Mote well. Love Mario. Mario Strikers Charged. Ross is in it. Started the ball. When me and my friends challenge each other head to head, I bring it. I just need a couple more wins to have the top spot on the leaderboards. Um, you know. I mean, just like with the Pokemon kid, I forget his name. Uh, you'll get there someday, buddy. From Jamestown, New York. I wonder what this symbol is supposed to mean. Maybe it says earlier. Or it doesn't. Weird. Okay. Sorry for the distraction, Ross. You need you need all you can get to become the best. Uh, Mario Party 8. Oh, Mario Party 8. My Sims. Ratatouille again. <laughs> um, Shrek the Third. Transformers. Um, Spider-Man 3. Some more images. You can see they have the bubbly, the shiny stuff that I can do. DDR, Super Paper Mario. Yeah, I think the D, the Wii kind of had a weak-ish year in 2007. Besides Mario Galaxy, nothing really stands out. Unless WarioWare came out then, then that's definitely. And then we've got the good old GameCube with the gamer who's playing it. Wearing this 2006, the most 2006 thing ever. 
like his hawk shirt. He's all tr he's, he's cool. Uh, they reference the N64 there, which is interesting. And we've got another gamer. She gets a whole page, but no quote. Like maybe she had nothing nice to say about Twilight Princess. Uh, they could have put Chibi Robo here, but they didn't. Not a good idea. Tune up from Brawl on the Wii with its predecessor. Did this come out before Brawl? When did this release? Oh, it's 2007. Okay, I thought it was 2008. Twilight Princess. Mario Kart Double Dash. Good list. I mean, it's an okay list for GameCube. And then a whole thing for Pokemon. Which is good. Pokemon. The Pal Park. Why does the Pal Park get its own thing? And then Wii.com. I wonder what that redirects to now. A bunch of images. Explore. Learn. Support. With Wario. Wario loves to explore. An image of the boys playing Wii Sports. Very nice.